Today, we will look at how we can build a clay alternative or clay gent alternative, I would say. And basically, what we need to do is uh, we need to build the same functionality, but so that we can use our own API key, which would be 150 a month, um, plus the API costs. And um, I mean, with the flow I build um, for this specific use case, we can save this 150 bucks a month or even more if we have a larger volume. Um, basically, we will be doing the same thing Clagent is doing. So how does that work? First of all, um, we will do the use case with the company names. So I have a list of uh, company names, which uh, you can see here. And um, I know that they are in Germany. And um, basically what I really need to do is just um, get the contact page and then scrape the contact page for an email. That's the easiest way. Um, in the next step, we could also import or get the URLs like here. And once we get the URLs, I will show you how to do it. We can also um, paste them into Apollo or we can also paste the company names into Apollo, I suppose. I'm not sure if it works with company names. I think so. And then we can um, filter and get the emails for the right person from there as well. But in my case, mm, I wanted to contact smaller shops like beauty salons or yeah, some barbers, stuff like that. So they have a contact email on the website most of the time. Mm, so what I what I did is I built this workflow where um, I use Google, Google Sheets. I import all the data here. And then um, if you go to App Script, I have this function to get the meta description, which we don't need. But basically, I build a, a function to get the SERP, to get the contact page, basically. I cannot show you the code right now, but I will um, paste it in this doc below. So basically what it does is it uses um, serper.dev and then um, uses the location I want to use. So in my case, Germany. And um, the, uh, yeah, so I, I built the API for that and um, connected it to Google Sheets. And it's um, looking for the company name plus contact and then takes the first search results if it uh, has like contact or something in the name. And you can also just take the first search result. Most of the time it's correct. And then um, what we can do is to see if the first result was correct is we can see if um, the email matches uh, the company name or if it has some details, including the company name. But basically what we do is import it into Google Sheets, build an app script to get the contact page. Once we have the contact page, it's going to be a URL like this. Once we have the contact page, I also build another app script, which I can show you, uh, which is get email. And this one is just checking the website HTML and extracting all the emails that they found. And yeah, that's how we get the emails. We can um, check them with lead magic also with the API. We can do it right in Google Sheets. And um, yeah, basically that's it. That's how you build your own clay gent. If you need more information on that, let me know. If you watch this on LinkedIn, um, which I wanted to do as well, you can find the template or the guide in the, in the comments. I will post it there. And um, yeah, if you need more workflows, just let me know. I mean, anything that Clay is doing can be automated here, but it's a matter of size or and volume, I would say, and also cost basically, you know, like if you can spend the 150 bucks on Clay to use your own API key a month, it's better to use Clay. I mean, it's just easier. Um, I like the tabling table uh, features more but yeah basically this is up to you if you want to start out i think this is a really cool approach and also if you do thousands of um, emails this could be interesting as well as i believe clay has some limits mm, but yeah i'm not i'm not really that sure but yeah this this should be pretty good so yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, if you need any more workflows or any use cases just let me know but yeah
basically anything is possible, I would say.